All right, what's up guys? Today I am continuing with benchmarking. You can see I have a couple scripts here and we're gonna be going through all of them. Now, if you've watched throughout my series, you know I've covered some of these topics, but this is also me just showing more that it actually is faster. So it's, I guess, a little bit of a proof. Maybe not a proof, it's not robust enough, but a little bit of a display. So if you like everything I'm doing, please give me a like and subscribe. Let's go into the benchmarking. Okay, so this first one is on structs, and I guess it's also a little bit on functions. So this is going into when you're typecasting, when you're doing parametrics, when you're doing all that stuff, how much faster does it make your code? So you can see here I have a couple modules. I have module A, which is just a regular old structs, nothing is defined. I have module B, where it's the same triangle, but now everything is defined as a float. I have module C, where now it's a triangle again, but everything is now a parametric, and it's based off of this T. And then I have this main, and it covers those three different aspects. Okay, so showing how benchmark works, you can see I have the main function, it calls this stuff, and then I have this macro, so it's at benchmark main, and this, this is just running this, this function. Okay, so we have our first one. So you can see here we got uh, a skew of estimates, and we have our minimum, a maximum, and then we have a medium and a, min, a mean. So these are the main two you want to look at. And it also tells you how many samples it's done and how many uh, evals. But these are the main two you want to look at, mean, median, and if you have a function that runs a really long time, it will reduce number of samples that you, you would do. So this one did 10,000 cases. If you had a really slow function, maybe it would do 10 cases. So here we got about 7.3 nanoseconds. Let's see if we did another case. And go, go, go. Okay, there it goes. And you see this sped up quite a lot. And this is now using the float case. And this is 0 0.001 nanoseconds while this one was 7.3 nanoseconds. So what, that's like a factor of 100. It's a lot faster when you actually do the typecasting. And let's look at parametrics. Okay, and if we look at this, so this was 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.05. So parametrics actually doesn't speed up too much more on top of it. Because if you think about it, it's not actually adding that much more. Really, it's just allowing the user to be a bit more general, and they can change this how they want. But in the compiler, your, the compiler now knows all these are floats. In the same case, it's the same idea, right? It now knows these are all floats. But it can be ints if the user changes it at the start. Writing it as this parametric type, or if you're just hard, hard typing everything, that is preferred. You, you can see there's quite a speed boost when you do that type for structs, and it's also the same idea as for functions. You think about this, this triangle, is uh, this is like that constructor, which constructs the struct, but the constructor is just a function, essentially. So if it knows what types it's supposed to be getting, it runs faster and it runs much more efficiently. Okay, now let's look at this other case. So. And here I have a function called row major, and I have an array, and I'm going through the array and changing every very every element into one. So m rows, uh, n columns, and by n matrix or array, whatever. And I'm going along the row. So you start in the top left corner, my my left maybe it's your right, whatever. Uh, and you're going along the the columns, or you're going along the row each column. And then we have a column major. So same idea, you're starting in the top left, but now you're going down the column. So one is row major, one is column major. Now, once again, this one shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Okay, so we got about 24 microseconds, 28 microseconds for the mean and median. This was the row major case. Now, if we comment this, comment that, and you can see the column major case was uh, decently faster, right? So this was 24, 28, this was about seven, eight microseconds. 
So that's what, a factor of three, three, four-ish about. Being column major does affect its output. And I mean, I'm just doing this for a hundred by a hundred matrix. You can see that's, not, that's just a random matrix. So you can imagine if I made this larger, it could, maybe you'd see even more of a drastic change, which that goes even more into algorithms, more into, oh, it's a big O. But you can see this little stuff does change how fast it runs. All right, guys, so I had to do a post edit, but the, I'm only going to do those first two scripts in this video. The next two scripts will be in the video next week. Wait for the next part on the rest of the stuff on benchmarking. If you like what I did so far, please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.